Hey guys, I've been making all these videos now for, for I don't know, five, six months, uh, and the course is launching on January 20th, 2014, and I realized after all this time, I never really invited you in. I didn't show you around at all, so I thought I'd show that. Um, obviously, this is my bench behind me. This is just kind of the backdrop. The uh, the actual bench is a little more, in well, it's filthy, but uh, <laughs> it's a little more interesting. You know, that's actually where we're going to be doing a lot of the building in uh, future sessions, that kind of thing, but what I really wanted to show was the internals of the site so you can kind of see what it would be like when you know you when and if you sign up for session 1a or any of the other sessions of contextual electronics you know seeing what it looks like to interact with people uh, on the forums uh, getting to the courses seeing what that all looks like so let's take a look at the actual internals of contextualelectronics.com as a user once you're logged in so we're going to open up contextual electronics here. Um, you can we're going to open it up in Firefox, but you can use Chrome, IE, you know, really any modern browser should work, and we have support if uh, something isn't looking right. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look here. So this little box here is because of it's just going to block some information once I log in. Um, but there's the pull down tab here. This allows you to sign in. But then you can see these are also you know your sign up link if you want to actually sign up for the course. Uh, the about uh, frequently asked questions that's actually a really good resource before you sign up so you know what you're getting into and then outlines uh, but let's go ahead and sign in some of this stuff disappears all right <laughs> so here's some of my uh, username stuff uh, not passwords or anything just emails uh, IP address though and everything else just making sure you know where you are and, and stuff like that we also uh, we have internal blog posts which is actually kind of nice um, I give updates. These can be sent out by mail. Uh, you can turn those mail updates on or off, and so that is a uh, you know that's that's a nice feature in order for me to keep in contact with the entire uh, course. I'm really looking forward to that, and that worked out really well during the beta. Uh, same thing here. Uh, another F FAQ just for members. There's nothing in there now. A support tab for actually filing tickets, blogs. Uh, this actually has. Uh, session 1a so this is actually the blog where all of these posts are so we can go through to that blog and then uh, there's also the public blog that you can see from the front page uh, courses we'll go into those later and then this is kind of the big stuff here there's forums there's tons of forums uh, and then find our uh, forums members groups uh, this is all based on buddy press um, which had spam problems but because it's all internal uh, we should be we are going to be fine because spammers would have to sign up for the course too and if spammers are going to sign up for the course, they might as well just learn electronics. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so there's a, a bunch of things here. We are going to use groups as well. So each, uh, there will be groups of 8 to 10. Those are going to be the people you actually are working with on a daily basis, um, you know, having having discussions with uh, these smaller groups, you know, pushing each other, helping each other. Um, that's going to be the main uh, social contact for the course, and those are chosen right before the course starts. And then finally, my progress. This is kind of a fun link here. Let's let's take a look at this. I'm going to get this box out of here. Uh, let's get that out of there, and we auto magically switch over. Uh, <laughs> so this is the my progress tab, and then this is great actually because then you can see um, all of the videos here, and not only the video names and everything. This will actually link you through to the videos, and then it keeps track. So you can go into a video. Uh, let's say maybe creating new libraries. Okay, and as you go through, you can actually keep track by marking it as completed. You can go to the next unit, and then also there's a link over to the the uh, forum where we can go and actually discuss this specific um, that specific video. And that's nice because then you know the conversation about a specific video stays on top. The same thing happens for the actual session one uh, videos as well. Everything's tied, every forum post, not every forum post, but there are specific forum posts tied to specific uh, videos and course units. So let's go back to my progress here. And we can see all of the different, uh, so this this account only has, has marked this one as done, but you can see all of these here. And there are, there are a good number here. Um, I'm going to, hmm, I'm going to log out real quick, and I'll log back in as me, Chris Gamble, in order to show you a draft of, of one of the posts, because I want to show the format, actually, of, of how we're doing this as well. Okay, now we're logged in as me. Uh, you can see the same kind of stuff here. You can see there's a little admin bar up here. No big deal, but the uh, this is one of the modules in, I think it's a week two or three, where we're talking about one of the 
the modules inside the board, rather, because it's modular design. Um, but basically, we wanted to go back to it and talk about it. Um, and so you can see that there are some courses. If you go to the My Progress, well, you won't see that. But if you go to the Outlines from the front page, if you're if you're not signed in, you'll see that some courses have stars next to them. And that's because this these are courses or these are um, course units that are uh, specific have a specific format to them. And this is still being reworked a little bit with with more details and everything. But this is a pretty good example here, where uh, there's a background there's background information. There's a task, and then there's an execution. So this is the same kind of thing that I've talked about in other videos and on podcasts before and stuff like that. Basically, you know how it should be done, what 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 we're actually trying to learn, what to go do, which is the task, and then finally how how I did it. Right? It's not necessarily the only way to do it, but it's just how I did it. And so there's there's explanations here. And then finally, this is the, another interesting thing, is that there's a commit number at the end. So this is a GitHub commit number that you can go and reference. And so at the end of this, if say say you didn't understand this any of this stuff, or you didn't have time for it, or you didn't want to do it, or whatever your reasoning is, at the very end, if you get through this entire course unit, and you say, you know, I just I don't feel confident with it. I, I would I'd like to just kind of reset to to where the rest of the course is at. You can go and you can download this commit this. Uh, commit point and you can go and download a zip file of the entire project with all the files that I had it saved at the end of this this uh, at the end of this video series uh, and you can just start from start new so then when you go to the next unit you're ready to go you're ready to uh, you know you're in the same same boat I guess this isn't a good example this is just a uh, uh, explanation about the reality of design but uh, you know the next actual design video you'll be ready to go off and watch it and, and, and get started and jump right back in so all of that's really important for, um, you know, for your learning, for your development as as a electronics designer. So I'm going to switch back over to the other user real quick. Now we're back at the My Progress uh, page, this link up here, as test user. And you can see the pull down here shows that, um, you know, you have a logo here, fake fake name in this case. Uh, and then you can add your profile and everything like that. Uh, so let's dive into the community real quick. Uh, there's, so there's forums, and this, these are what the forums are as they are right now today. So not all of them are available. But you can see that the, a lot of the associated forums are here. Uh, and so there are some discussions going on. And then there's also some uh, Session 1A specific forums. And that's where you know, each week will have its own dedicated forum effectively. And you know then each module within the forum, so you know the week one forum will have or the week three form, like we'll have that that same uh, that uh, relay video that we were looking at under the other account. Um, you'll be able to go and write comments on the forum there. And really, there are going to be other forums that are um, you know enabled as well. There's a, a general general uh, discussion forum, and then each group. You know, if you're play when you're placed into a group, you will have uh, you know your own group will have its own forum, and uh, and most likely a moderator as well, um, you know, like a, a forum leader, effectively at that point. Uh, yeah, so that's that's part of the community here. And then let's see, we can also uh, well we can go to the groups here. There are no groups as of yet. Um, these are just some empty test groups, but uh, you know, people will be placed into this is group A or Ampere and group Buck Boost. Um, anyways, uh, people will be placed into these groups effectively, and then that group will you know that'll be the social group that that they'll, um, you know, each member in the group will work with each other there. Okay, let's go to uh, profile. And really, this is about, uh, you know, it's <laughs> it's kind of weird. BuddyPress is supposed to be like a social network on the back end, but I don't really think about it like that. I mean, it's not necessarily a social network so much as just a, a way to post your own information and, uh, you know, interact with each other outside of the forum. You know, there is forum access in the, on this back end here. But really, it's more about, uh, you know, explaining where you are in the process and uh, being able to relate because you can go and, and find others as well. You can go to the members here. I'm not going to do that for a, a member's privacy, but, um, you know, you can go to the members and you can find others in the program and, and uh, send them messages and, and talk to them about particular things, see how they're doing. So um, that's kind of a rundown of all of the different areas of contextual electronics on the back end once you're signed in. Uh, really, you know, you're going to be spending most of your time in the uh, pro My Progress 
you know, going and actually clicking on the videos, but then also the, I think the forums as well. Those that's going to be another big one. Um, actually interacting there and uh, and making sure that you understand what's going on and that your project syncs up with everybody else. So that's all for Contextual Electronics, and thanks for watching.